A stunning scene in Washington with a violent uprising in the nation's capital. Today, we're hearing from Indiana lawmakers, including Congressman Larry Bouchon, Congressman Andre Carson, former Senator Joe Donnelly, and Governor Eric Holcomb. Plus, what's next for Vice President Mike Pence after everything that's transpired this week? It's all ahead this Sunday in Focus. Exploring the issues that matter most in Indiana. This is In Focus with Dan Spieler. January 6th, 2021. It's a day that won't ever be forgotten in the history of our nation and a day that could shape the future of our political discourse for years to come. We're just 10 days now until a new administration takes office in Washington. Our D.C. correspondent Trevor Shirley starts our coverage from the nation's capital. Well, Dan, good morning. Among everything we saw here in Washington this week, something very notable was the apparent rift forming between President Trump and Vice President Mike Pence, who's arguably been one of the president's most loyal defenders during the past four years. Over the past few weeks, President Trump repeatedly put pressure on Pence to do something to overturn the results of the election. Trump believed that somehow Pence could use his authority overseeing the Electoral College certification to somehow change the results and name Trump the winner. The president even went so far as to publicly question Pence's commitment and loyalty during a rally on Wednesday, just hours before violent rioters stormed the U.S. Capitol. And I hope Mike is going to do the right thing. I hope so. I hope so. Because if Mike Pence does the right thing, we win the election. All Vice President Pence has to do is send it back to the states to recertify. But in a lengthy statement this week, Pence pushed back, saying he had no authority to change the Electoral College outcome and that he would only exercise the duties that the Constitution allowed him to, which is ultimately what he did early Thursday morning when he certified Joe Biden and Kamala Harris the winners of the 2020 election. And reports this week also said it was Pence, not Trump, who took the lead on Wednesday in getting National Guard troops to the U.S. Capitol to deal with the insurrection. Reporting in Washington, I'm Trevor Shirley for In Focus. Trevor, thank you. Meantime, a number of lawmakers now pushing for impeachment, including Indiana Congressman Andre Carson, who we spoke with Wednesday night before Congress returned to work. Here's his account of what happened. I was on the Hill. We had a Congressional Black Caucus uh, Zoom meeting, and um, a few of us had met with the incoming chair briefly. And I went back to the office, and next thing I know, I was informed by a Capitol Police officer to remain in my office until further notice. I was also informed by other officers that uh, many of the uh, in insurrectionists uh, had had firearms. Uh, they also had uh, uh, tasers uh, and pepper spray uh, against law enforcement. And so for me, I think this is demonstrative of a president who has run amok, he's gone unchecked, and we also spoke with Republican Congressman Larry Bouchon, who did vote in favor of certifying the election results. While he feels there were some issues with the election, he was also quite critical of the president for his role in inciting the violence at the Capitol. That is inciting people to head to the U.S. Capitol and do ex and some of these people take what the president says literally. And that's what happened. I mean, I don't think any objective person can say that the words the president said about going to the Capitol uh, didn't incite some people to do what they did. Uh, again, I'm a supporter of the policies of this administration. I'm a supporter of the uh, judicial appointments. Uh, we've worked with the administration uh, on all kinds of issues, but I'm an American first. And, you know, uh, when the president of the United States or any person makes uh, statements and their words are taken, you know, taken literally, uh, it's potentially dangerous. And that's what we saw yesterday. I think um, people need to stand up on, on both sides of the aisle, and I think most Republicans have, and condemn this type of rhetoric. It takes leadership, though. And I know the president released a statement this morning saying he's going to ensure a peaceful transition of power. Well, he should have done that uh, back in December when the Electoral College votes came in and, and the Electoral College didn't go his way. Um, Look, I support the president's policies, but we have a process. The process is maybe flawed in some states, in many states, but you don't address those in this, in this manner. That's not how we do things. 
All right, so Bouchon was among those who voted to certify the results after initially considering voting against them. Four Indiana Republicans, though, did vote against certification in some of the swing states, including Congressman Jim Banks.